For the next 24 hours, I'll, it. I'll hook them both up immediately to an IV for the dehydration, do a bone scan and some frivolous defibrillation. But even with the benefit of some outrageously expensive treatment, your cats might... You mean, they might die? I'll call you. Oh, I said they'd call if anything changes. The vet will cost a bloody fortune. Well, what else was I supposed to do? I think we should get them both stuffed. Could be Melvin would die if anything happened to those cats, and we'd be responsible. No, Margaret, we are not responsible. Cookie and Melvin should come home and look after their own animals. They're old and they're getting sick. Is that what you'll do? Have me stuffed when I'm old and sick? Oh, don't be silly. You'll outlive me, Margaret. Oh, don't be so morbid. But maybe it's something we should talk about. You know, our final resting place. Oh, Bob, what does it matter? Once our spirit has left us, what difference does it make what you do with a body? It's just like an old suit of clothes. Oh, no. Well, I'm sorry, I, I can't be that philosophical. It does matter to me where I spend eternity. My old daddy buried underneath a parking lot. It doesn't seem right. I read in the post that more and more people are having their bodies pushed out to sea in burning canoes. I think I'd want something a little more... permanent. Well, there's barely enough available land for living. It seems absolutely pagan, all the money people spend on cemetery plots and funerals. I mean, what if a fella dropped down dead the night before his anniversary? You'll outlive me, Margaret. Maybe it's something we should talk about. He was the greatest man who ever lived. Oh, excuse me. Look how fat he was getting in the face. Here, Peter. So nice of you to lend Bobby your pin. Mr. Wright. Fish. Mr. Dunlop, uh, I'm afraid I'm going to have to cancel my purchase. <laughs> it was something of an impulse buy. You see, we've only just moved to Canada, and uh, I don't think a final resting place should be a priority in my life right now. So, uh, sorry. Jeez, Dr. Fish, I'd really like to be able to help you, but as you can see... Sorry, but my hands are tied. I don't really want to start thinking about a lawsuit, but I may be forced to. Start thinking about it. You're not trying to buy that plot back, are you, you rat? Don't listen to him, honey. He's just sore because he found out the city put a moratorium on cemetery land, and these plots are going to triple in value by next year. Well then, uh, I may let you off the hook. This time. Look, he's still not in. I don't know. He's been out a lot lately. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. How should I know where he's been? It's none of my business. Look, I'm really busy. Oh, wait. He just walked in the door. Hold on. It's your lovely wife. Hello? Where have you been all morning? I was trying to reach you. I, uh, had a doctor's appointment. What? What kind of doctor? Just, um, you know, for, for, when, for when you're, uh... Bob, is there something you need to tell me? We have to share life's ups and downs together. That's what marriage is. All right, Margaret. There is something I have to tell you. Uh, look, I can't talk here. It, it's not a big deal, really. We'll discuss it when I get home. OK, Margaret? Uh, OK, Bob.
Hello? Oh, Dr. Murdoch. They're hanging on? By a thread? Thank you. Margaret, I'm home. <gasps> Come with me, Margaret. I'm taking you out. Oh, um, where? I want to show you something. I know I said it was silly, but... Happy anniversary. Oh, Bob, how can you? It's, it's not the expensive champagne. It's hardly anything to celebrate. I think it is. At first I thought it was important, you know, what we Dad buried in the supermarket and all. Parking lot. Sorry? Your Dad's headstone. You said it was a parking lot. Yeah, but you opened my eyes, Margaret. What you said about our spirits going free when we die and, and, and who cares about our bodies? It's true. You made me see that. I did? Yes, I, I realised it was silly of me to be thinking of something so temporal in the face of a yawning eternity. But then I looked at it as an investment. Next year, this plot's going to be worth three times what we paid for it. And if you want your ashes sprinkled over it like a Viking, so be it, Margaret. This is our land. We just bought a piece of the pie. <gasps> you mean you're not dying? No. Should I be? Mm. Oh, Margaret? 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 <laughs> Margaret? Please, I I'm sorry. I found the certificate in your pocket. I thought you were dying. <laughs> oh, bother. Hello? Speaking. Oh, I see. You're fine, thanks. They want us at the vets. It's urgent. Their little hearts just gave out. But don't worry, they died peacefully. They weren't afraid. Well, they wouldn't be, would they? I mean, they really wouldn't even notice the difference between being alive and dead. You know, being cats. Perhaps you'd like to talk with our grief counselor? No. No. They weren't really ours, you see. Sometimes it helps. Actually, we didn't really like them. The funny thing is, I feel pretty good. We're really more dog people than cat people. And cat people? I don't know. They, they seem so neurotic. Of course you do see some dogs with booties and sweaters. But William and Elizabeth... Those are our dogs. We don't treat them any differently than we would children. If we had children. I'm sorry for interrupting, but you see, due to a little computer glitch, it turns out that your cats are fine. <laughs> it's Pop Puff and Patty Paws that passed on. Your Bailey and Buster have made a full recovery. <laughs> Oh, and here's your bill. <gasps> well then, here's to us on our anniversary, to looking ahead. To a long life. Hmm. I'm sorry I frightened you, Margaret. Oh, it's just that I couldn't imagine life without you, Bob. No, you won't have to. Here, this is for you. Ah, oh, Margaret, you shouldn't have. We can't afford this. It's only money, isn't it? I'll have to have it pierced. No, silly. It's a stick pin, like your dad's. Oh, so, Peter, I've got one of my own now. Here's to owning a bit of Canada. Happy anniversary, Margaret. Happy anniversary, Bob. Our own little piece of heaven. Oh, Bob. You're still the incurable romantic I married. <laughs>